Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's been a fantastic show so far. I hope you had a good time. Did you have a good time? Awesome. Okay, your last act tonight. You ready? Please welcome to the stage, my friend, the very funny Bob. Hey, thank you so much, Kevin. You're the best. Now listen, Kyle, thank you so much. Now listen, I am here as usually I'm wild man crazy. But this time, I'm here for a special occasion. There'll be no talk about sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Because the special occasion is my girlfriend, Marla Morrison's 60th birthday. Now, we can not talk about sex, and we can not talk about rock and roll, but we can not talk about drugs, because her nickname is Goody Two Shoes Marla, and I'm Big Bad Bob. She wanted, I asked her what she wanted. She said she wanted nothing special. So here you go. You're getting nothing special. A stand-up comedy at Spirits for your 60th birthday. She's not my wife, because wife has four letters. And Four letters are evil me. Marla is my girlfriend, my partner, and my special friend. Our first date, it was a setup. I thought, her cousin Ashley, does that mean that there's gonna be a hitman there to kill me? No, I was alive. It was a blind date. I called Milestones because I wanted everything to be perfect for our first date. And I asked them if seeing eye dogs were allowed. She showed up, she wasn't blind, there was no seeing eye dog. What did you call, what happens when you have a blind man with his, whipping his seeing eye dog around? Do you know what that's called? He's looking around. <laughs> Anyways, on our first date, I inquired, she had just, her husband had cheated on her three months ago and she wanted to be out there. She wanted a relationship. So, she told me that she was moving, which was a deal maker, deal breaker. I don't want to do that again. She was crying because her father had just died. She said he, she had been doing yurtzeit, shiva, some Jewish word. So then I realized she was Jewish and I was jew light. And she, uh, so I asked her the ultimate question, Marla, how many men have you had sex with? And she said, one. That was definitely a deal breaker. So we said our ado and time moved on and a month later I was sitting at home smoking medical marijuana, eating Cozy Shack, not one, but a whole case, and I wanted a dinner partner. So I called Marla and I said, Marla, would you like to join me for dinner? She said, yes. Where should I meet you? I said, it doesn't work that way. I'm gonna come and pick you up. She says, well, I'm living at my sister's on the bridal path. I said, perfect. She says, you'll need an access code for the big iron gate to open up. So she opened up the, she gave me the access code and you know what? It was the same four digits as my cellular telephone. Love at first access code. So we went out for a date and from that point on, we became a couple. Now she doesn't drink, not only does she not drink Diet Pepsi, she drinks water, which is perfect for my budget these days. She made one, uh, su uh, one suggestion, which is the deal breaker was I had to love kids. I said, what, your kids? She says, no, my great nieces and nephew, Madison and Mason, they're twins. If you're watching this, Madison Mason, are you guys still twins? Marla, the queen of rules. Rules in the bathroom, rules in the kitchen, rules for the lights off. She believes in phantom energy. Rules uh, for food. Lots of rules. She quotes Dr. Oz religiously watches Marilyn and is the queen of PVR. Actually, I think she should apply for Rogers to be a PVR trainer. 
keeps kosher. Not only does she keep kosher, but I made a cheesecake and I usually leave them out at night. She said, you can't do that. That's against the rules. So I went down at three o'clock in the morning to dress the cheesecake with an apple topping. And I took the cheese, the apple and the uh, syrup and I took some butter and took a spatula. Well, the next morning, I heard, I thought she had died. I thought she had a terminal illness. There was such a screech and I said, what happened? She says, you used a meat spatula. Who the hell has a meat spatula? She gave it to her daughter, Shelby. The meat spatula was dead. Then comes Passover. You think kosher is hard. Passover drove me crazy. No wonder those Jews say, let my people go. Let us go from Passover. Something I have in common, she says, I'm her father, Reuben, reincarnated. Food on the floor, newspaper on the table, making up words and talking to everybody. But the thing that both Reuben and I have is we love Marla. Marla loves Barry Manilow. She also does like Earth, Wind and Fire. She loves Florida. She loves shopping at Saks on Fifth. Actually shop till she drops. She loves the Cheesecake Factory. All things that I knew nothing about before I met Marla. But she also likes picnics. She likes Campfires with marshmallows. Notice the theme, everybody. Jewish food. I've taught Marla to like the birds. And speaking of the birds, the birds and the bees are what Marla and I are all about. Happy birthday, Marla. I love you. We all love you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marla.